Polluter Pays Principle by Brandon Knapp. So before we actually get into what Polluter Pays Principle is, you should understand the foundation of it. And the foundation of it is pollution. And today pollution is considered one of the world's biggest killers. It's affecting over 100 million people nationwide and people that live in these places are at a higher risk of lung cancer, up 20% compared to countries without um, polluted areas. And not only are these people being affected, but our lakes, oceans, and rivers, and our aquatic life have been greatly affected by um, the cost of pollution. So now we actually get into the topic of what polluter pays principle actually is. And it's a principle in international environmental law where the polluter pays for damage done to the natural environment. It is also known as the extended polluter responsibility. So it's basically saying whoever is responsible for damage to the environment should be the ones bearing the costs associated with it. Who supports polluter pays principle? Countries around the world, such as France, Australia, Sweden, and many others follow the polluter pays principle. The United States and the other countries listed have been hard at work towards places such as Russia and China in convincing them of how much damage their manufacturers are actually doing. Now within this, there's some problems with the polluter pays principle. Now although these laws are some of the major pollution laws, many other pollution laws do not follow by the polluter pays principle. The drinking water and sewage treatment services, those have been found to be lacking mechanisms in place to fully hold people responsible for damage to the environment. An example of this would be a factory that produces a potentially dangerous substance as a byproduct of its activities would be held responsible for its safe disposal. And now we face loopholes within this principle. And one of those is pollution havens. And what is a pollution haven? It's where countries are known to be lagging and their environmental laws allowing for these companies to pollute freely. So if you come to the United States and you're not happy with this principle, you can actually move to another country and manufacture what you're doing and pollute as much as you want. But there's something we can do to combat this. It's not as easy as that. Um, many economists argue today that a carbon price should be enacted to reduce global warming and these companies that are fleeing. This method would change those who emit would charge those who emit carbon dioxide. The carbon tax is found in Denmark, Finland, Germany, Ireland, Italy, and many other countries. The United States has no nationwide tax on carbon emissions, but I definitely believe it's important for lawmakers and economists to all come together and get that enacted. So now I actually included a carbon pricing, um, some statistics and a graph. And most companies are actually willing to accept a carbon price tax to try and eliminate the damages of pollution. Are you in favor of being responsible for pollution that you create? How would you feel being a CEO of a company that produces emissions and then having to pay for it? 